In this problem, during the last second of its flight, a ball thrown vertically upwards covers one half of the distance covered during the whole flight. The point of projection and the point of landing may or may not be in the same horizontal level. What is the maximum possible duration of the flight can be obtained. Neglect air resistance and assume acceleration of the free fall to be 10 meter per second squared. So this is a problem from Olympiad book, like Pathfinder physics. It's really good problem. So let's begin by considering first a simple condition. Like suppose if this is a point A and this is point B, then we are throwing a particle upwards and it reaches a certain distance. Again, it returns back. So it is like one dimensional motion, but I'm showing as if it's like, you know, kind of separation so that we can easily visualize it. Suppose if we are throwing it, if the entire journey, let D be the like distance of the whole journey. Whole journey's distance is D. If that is the case, then this becomes D by 2 and this is D by 2. Say, suppose if we consider like they both are on the same level, then we can say that for this journey, half the distance, this is one second. If this is one second, even this is one second. So we'll get the total time as two seconds. So this is a story if we have like A and B at the same horizontal level. But we'll check whether is it possible to have like greater value for this total time of flight. Okay. So for that, we are going to assume that the point A and the point B these two are different levels. Now we are throwing it upwards and it will go to certain level. Then again, it reverses back all the way to B. Now here A and B are not in the same level, but there is one thing. Say we have chosen D as the total distance of the entire journey. So if that is the case, then let me choose like D by two is this distance all the way from here to here and it will consume one second for this kind of motion now if this is a case we don't know what is this distance right so we'll be calling that as say x distance and of course this distance turns out to be like d minus of d by 2 minus of x that would be the distance from here to here let me refer this one as the c level this is c level and this point as d level now we can easily compute the time taken from A to C followed by C to D and D to B. So for that, let's first figure it out like given parameters. Suppose if total time of flight in this case, if we consider it will be root of say from A to C, it will be root of two H by G type. So it is two by G times of whatever the distance we have so it is d by 2 minus of x then plus to cover x distance we need to have root of 2 x by g distance right 2 times x by g gives you the time taken to move from c to d then followed by from d to b it is one second it is already given for us okay this is one second okay now we need to check like maximum possibility for t right so we'll observe like we'll vary the value of x so for different different values of x we might expect different values of t if we get like maxima condition then we'll use that to evaluate so to get that we'll be using calculus so the plot of t versus x gives you maxima or minima suppose if there is a slope turning out to be zero so dt by dx equals zero which is I'm just differentiating this and I'm equating it to zero just to get the maximum minima points. So we have root of two by G as constants and root of this one is one by two root of D by two minus of X times minus one, I'm just differentiating this plus root of two by G root of X differentiation one by two root X. Then differentiation of this is zero. So we do get the condition here. We can say that certain things here cannot be zero. And like two by G root of two by G 
cannot be zero this is two okay root of two by g and two cannot be zero and if i transfer one of the terms to the lhs and try simplify this you can equate root of d by two minus of x will be equal to root of x you can just transfer one term and you can equate so we can get this right so we can square on both the sides d by 2 minus of x equals x so 2x being equal to d by 2 which implies the x value as d by 4 if x value is d by 4 then we can rethink about our problem we had this level as a we are throwing this and it covers certain distance and again it covers back certain distance so since x is d by 4 suppose if x is d by 4 just observe here x value if this turns out to be d by 4 then of course even the like upward motion should be d by 4 because if we just subtract this d minus d by 2 is again d by 2 d by 2 minus of d by 4 is again d by 4 so this one turns out to be d by 4 if x turns out to be d by 4 okay so meaning a and d are at the same levels so a and d are at the same levels since we got this idea a and d are at the same levels and the distance here x value as d by 4 it goes with ec from here on and we know that b will lie at a distance of d by 2 so for instance let us take anyhow we know that this is one second from here to here let me choose here the velocity with which it is moving is u if this is u then we know it is at the same level so it must be going up with the same speed u suppose if you get the value of u so we can easily find the total time of flight from a to d it would be easier for us so computing that now from this point here the velocity will be zero as it moves it will gain the velocity as u so u equals say we have u squared using kinematical equations using kinematical equation equation you can write we u squared equals 2 times of g times of the distance d by 4 they are asking us to choose the value of g as 10 so it is 5d value of u we got it as root of 5d from this then going further we can write we'll cover d by 2 distance with traveling initial velocity as u and we'll take one second with this g acceleration we'll complete this d by 2 distance right so we got d by 2 as u plus 5 this is one more condition now so these are the two equations we have from these two we can get the value of u so I'm gonna choose this u squared equals 5 d value from this as 2 times of u plus 10 so from this u squared equals 10 u plus of 50 I'm just solving this equation u squared minus 10 u minus 50 equals 0 u should be minus p plus or minus root of b squared minus 4 times of a times of c whole thing divided by 2 times of a so solving this guys we have u equals 10 plus or minus root of like 100 minus minus plus this is 200 whole thing divided by 2 and this is 5 plus or minus root of 300 so we can write let me just write like this 303 by 2 so it turns out to be like 5 plus or minus 5 root 3 see there are two possible solutions meaning we can like throw it upwards so we have assumed all the direction as upwards as positive right now if I get the value of u as negative then meaning instead of throwing upwards I should throw downwards that is not my interest I am going to throw upwards so I need to get u value as positive since u is positive we need to choose the value of u as u 5 plus 5 root 3 suppose if this is the value of u then time taken would be 2u by g to move from point a all the way up then back to 
like all the way to C and to D for this motion it was to U by G then another one second all the way to reach the point B this is one second right this is our story so this is 2 by 10 value of u is 5 plus 5 root 3 plus 1 so it turns out to be like 1 plus root 3 plus 1 so total time of flight will be 2 plus of root 3 seconds so this is our solution and approximately you can write this one as 4 seconds okay by any chance if you are interested in designing this problem to get the value of of total time as four second exactly then the particle should be traveling like from point A it should travel upwards and come back all the way to the point B suppose in its last second if it is traveling 8 by 17th of the total distance okay then we can say that the total time in that scenario it turns out to be four second but for this given problem our answer is 2 plus root 3 seconds thank you and I hope you understood and if you have any doubts please type that in our comment section thank you everybody